I am creating a series of videos about how to love yourself. And the reason why is because I didn't realize this until a couple of years ago that I didn't truly love myself. And you may think that as a Christian, it's not important to love yourself, but it is. Yes, it's important to love yourself and God wants us to love ourselves. That's one of the main commandments in the Bible is to love your neighbor as yourself. And the reason why it's important to love your neighbor as yourself is because if you don't love yourself, it's going to be hard to love anyone. A couple of years ago, I felt God calling me. I start desiring to do certain things. And I can remember thinking that the things that I desired was just all in my mind and it wasn't really God's will for me. Those desires that I had came from God, but it was hard for me to act upon them. And the reason why is because I didn't feel worthy. I didn't see value in myself and I didn't think that I could do it. So that is one of the main things that motivated me to go on a journey of learning how to love myself and asking God to heal me because I knew that in order to do the things that he called me to do that I needed to love myself and feel that I am worthy and also capable of doing it. I created a series of videos about how to love yourself. If you haven't watched those, make sure once you get done with this video that you go back and watch the other videos too. Tip number one, say no. Now that have been one of the hardest things for me to learn how to say no. The reason why it's important to say no sometimes is that if you don't, you find yourself saying yes to a lot of things that you really don't want to do and you have to make yourself do it. And that's not fair to you. So time is valuable. So it's important to spend your time the way that you want to. So you don't have to say yes to things that you don't want to do. And even I am learning too now, when I say no, don't always have an explanation. Don't try to explain because one thing I learned about people, a lot of people are very selfish and they're self-centered. And so they don't even care about whether if you want to do it or not. They just want you to do it. And the reason why you want to just say no without trying to explain why, because they will try to talk you into it and find a reason why you should do it or why you can do it. It's best just to say no and just leave it at that. Tip number two, don't compare yourself to others. The reason why you don't want to compare yourself to others is because that we all have certain gifts and talents and that person may have a lot more experience or it may be to where it's more natural for them to do a particular thing and when you find yourself comparing yourself to them you're not being fair to yourself and it's good to focus on your strengths and not on your neighbors. The reason why is because it stops you from walking into what God has called you to walk into because you are so busy looking at what the other person is doing. So pay attention to yourself and try to improve the talents and the gifts that God has given you. I never really experienced comparing myself to others until I started my YouTube channel. And that have been one of my main struggles. And so it's one of those things to where it's going to always be someone better than you. And it could be because this person have more experience in that area. So it's not a good thing to compare yourself to that other person because you may not be as knowledgeable. When I started my YouTube channel, I was clueless about what I was doing and I didn't know anything about creating content, editing videos, getting in front of a camera. It took me a year and a half to get comfortable on camera and to learn how to relax and just 
be myself on camera. And one of the main experiences that I have learned since I started my YouTube channel is that the more you do something, the more comfortable you get and the better you will become at it. Tip number three, focus and use your strengths. We all have strengths. It's just that sometimes we don't recognize them and it's because it's so easy to focus on your weaknesses, things that you're not good at until you don't recognize things that you are good at. When you focus on your strengths, it will help you to start feeling positive about yourself. It will help your self-confidence and you will start seeing value within yourself. Out of the three tips that I shared, do you find yourself guilty of any of those? If so, share it in the comments. If you like my message and you want to support me, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload of How to Love Yourself.